Now at this point, you might be thinking to yourself, look, do I really care about this? Does anybody really care about this? That's a fair question. This is difficult stuff, and it better be important to go to the trouble of learning it all. Well, it is important, but to explain exactly how deep and how significant this is, well, we're going to have to leave the boundaries of this course and consider some of the courses that you might take in the future. For example, if you take a course in differential equations, you're going to see Stokes' theorem in the form of Green's identities and other formulae that are used in equations associated with Laplacians. In differential geometry, you're going to learn a really important theorem called the Gauss-Binet theorem that controls curvature on a surface or a manifold. Look for Stokes' theorem in the proof of that. If you really go far in mathematics, you might take some algebraic geometry. And Stokes' theorem is going to be a central component of Hodge theory, which again uses Laplacians, in this case, to classify global features in solutions to systems of complex polynomial equations. In complex analysis, you're going to see everything that we've done here in calculus, but for complex valued forms and functions. You'll see some great theorems like Gorsas theorem or the Cauchy integral formula, and boom, it's going to be Stokes theorem all over again. One of my favorite applications is to dynamical systems, in which Stokes theorem is closely connected to the Poincaré-Hopf index, and that is super useful in inferring the existence and structure of invariant sets inside of a dynamical system. And most closely related to my own research is algebraic topology where Stokes' theorem appears all over the place, linking together homology and cohomology theories on manifolds and complexes. Man, it's some cool stuff. But, well, okay, that's kind of a little bit out there. How about a simple example? An elementary example where Stokes' theorem in higher dimensions is useful. Well, that might not be so simple. You could take a look at books and see what you can find. Have fun with that. But look, here we are. At the end of all things, we should, we should give it a go. We should try. Let's think and see if we can come up with a simple application of Stokes' theorem in higher dimensions.